the headlines on Reporting Scotland this Thursday lunchtime. Good afternoon, an Edinburgh woman who was sexually abused as a child has criticised the police and others for failing to stop a man abusing generations of girls. 30-year-old Laura Lunn, who's waived her anonymity, went to the police in the 1990s, but it took the authorities another 21 years to bring him to justice. You may find some of Maura Kinnebra's report distressing. It's emerged more than 1,700 women in Scotland who should have been given a final breast screening appointment were not invited to attend. The family of a man shot dead outside his home in North Lanarkshire are appealing to anyone with any information to come forward. A large fire ripped through an indoor market in Dundee last night, the second major blaze in the city in 24 hours. More than 13,000 empty homes were charged double council tax last year in a bid to reduce the number of unoccupied properties in Scotland. BBC research found councils such as Aberdeen and Edinburgh had raised millions in extra revenue, while others hadn't used the powers at all. Our social affairs correspondent Reva Alderson reports. It's emerged that a landslip below a section of the A9 trunk road may have gone undetected by a maintenance company for weeks. And the weather now with Judith. Good afternoon. Hello, Laura, and a very good afternoon to you as well. You can really feel that autumnal change in the air now. And this lovely picture here sent in by one of our weather watchers from the Isle of Harris really captures it as well. Now, for this afternoon, it's a fairly cloudy picture. Some brightness coming through, particularly across the east and indeed the far north, and a good number of showers as well for much of western Scotland, a few making it through to the east as well. Highs of around about 12 to 15 Celsius but it will feel cool in that brisk westerly wind, strong to gale force over the northwest and indeed the far north and the northern Isles as well. So into this evening we'll continue to see some showers in the west, drier in the east before we see the next weather front approaching introducing uh, outbreaks of rain and cloudier conditions generally extending across the country as we head through the overnight period, maybe not quite into the south until later and those tonight of 8 to 10 Celsius and again we hold on to those windy conditions. So here's our weather front, much like we saw last night. It will continue to sink southwards during tonight and first thing tomorrow. Behind it we're back to the brisk westerly winds. So it does start off cloudy with outbreaks of rain for much of the country and where you don't see the rain it will push in as we head through the morning. But the weather front does clear away, maybe lingering across the far south, but it brightens up north of here. Some showers for the northwest and temperatures very similar to today's values. Then as we head towards the weekend, Saturday actually looks like being a largely dry day. Some cloud around, but also some brightness, maybe the odd shower in the north. Then we'll see cloud thickening up in the west with the first signs of rain into the west coast by the end of the afternoon. That's your forecast. Thanks, Rana. Judith. And that's all for now. I'll be back with more news, sport and weather in Reporting Scotland at 6.30 tonight. Hope you can join us then. Until then, have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.